When we're talking about increasing the lifetime of your fence, you know we're talking about staining and sealing it. It's the easiest way to extend the life and preserve the beauty of a huge investment that you've made in your backyard. But what do you use to stain and seal it? There are hundreds of products in the market today. Well, they typically fall into two camps, water-based and oil-based. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about both and end with the product that I prefer to use when staining and sealing all of our fences. But before we get into this week's video, it would mean the world to us if you like the video, hit that like button below. Also, if you find the video helpful, hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification button, so that YouTube will let you know as we have new content uploaded each and every week. So for now, let's seal up the debate on oil versus water-based sealant and stain for your next fence. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family's been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. All right, so as I said in the beginning, there's two main camps when we're talking about fence staining and sealing products. There's gonna be oil-based and water-based. Let's pick out two pros and two cons of each, and at the end, talk about which I prefer and specifically which product I prefer. For oil-based stains, you have the two pros of one, has lower maintenance costs, meaning that two or three years after you stain and seal that fence, you can go ahead and just put a maintenance coat on top of it. You can reapply the product without having to strip the old off. With water-based sealants, you typically do have to strip off the old sealant and then put the new sealant back on there. So, in the end, lower maintenance cost is great for oil-based stain. The second pro of using an oil-based stain is that the oils in the oil-based stain are gonna mimic the naturally occurring cedar oils. They're actually gonna moisturize and preserve the wood rather than just sealing over the wood with a paint or a, just a solid color. It's actually gonna be better for your wood to use an oil-based stain. Now, the cons of using an oil-based stain to stain your next fence. First, oil-based stains are extremely moisture sensitive. You typically have to have a moisture content of less than 15% in the board, two by four post, whatever you're sealing, before you can apply the wood. If the wood holds too much moisture, it's actually not gonna allow that oil in because oil and water don't mix. But if the moisture content is less than 15%, you can obviously go ahead and stain it. But in a year like this year, that we've had an extremely wet spring, it means that you're probably not gonna be able to stain your fence as soon as you may want to if the wood's wet. All right, the second negative when it comes to using oil rather than water-based sealant is the fact that it's more transparent. You can actually see more of the lumber, more of the character of the wood with oil rather than water. So why is that a negative? Well, if you're repairing a fence before staining and sealing it and you have newer boards next to older boards, next to newer boards, next to older boards, you're absolutely gonna see that more with an oil base. Typically, the darkest you can get is a semi-solid. It's closer to a solid, but you're still gonna be able to see the new versus the old board. So if you have a fence that has both new and old boards, you're probably more likely to wanna to use a solid color and in so, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a water-based sealant. All right, so we've talked about the oil-based stain. Now let's talk about water-based stain. Same thing, two pros, two cons coming right up. So as we just talked about with a con with oil, it's a pro for water. If you have uglier wood, or if you have wood that is mixed and matched, water-based stain is gonna do a great job of covering that up. If you have repairs that need to be made to the fence or the fence boards just don't look that great, you're not really wanting to show the boards themselves off, water base is gonna be a great choice for that fence. The second pro of water is also a negative of oil in that you can use a water-based sealant when the wood is much wetter. If you live in a wet climate or you're applying the same sealant in a wetter time of the year, water-based sealant can actually be applied to boards that are considerably wetter. 20 to 25% moisture content is not unheard of when you're applying a water-based sealant. So as I said, if you're in a wetter climate or a wetter time of the year, water-based is probably gonna be the choice for you. So now let's talk about the two negatives of using a water-based sealant. The first negative of using a water-based sealant is more likely to crack or peel than an oil-based. And that's because most water-based sealants are gonna be film forming, meaning it's just like it sounds. They'll form a film over the top of that picket two by four post allowing them to be more solid, but they don't actually impenetrate the lumber. They don't become a part of that lumber product. So as they age, they're more likely to peel off, to crack or chip. 
and just become unsightly. The second negative is somewhat related to the first in that when you have a film forming sealant, it's gonna seal in everything inside that lumber. All the moisture that's there is there to stay. It can't breathe, which means if you're sealing in a significant amount of moisture, you could be promoting early rot in that lumber product. So when deciding which kind of product we were gonna use as a company, we weighed the pros and cons of oil versus water. And ultimately, we landed on an oil-based product because in our opinion, it looks quite a bit better. And it penetrates, it seals the board from the inside out. Now, you do lose some of the covering abilities. You do still see the grains in the lumber when using an oil base, but I honestly think that's a great benefit of using the oil. I love seeing the character of the board be brought out and enhanced by the stain and sealant. So we as a company chose an oil-based. But even when we're talking about oil-based sealants, there are many, many, many oil-based sealants in the market today. So which one do you choose? Well, I can tell you about the one we chose. As a company, after deciding we were gonna use an oil-based stain product, we still had several companies that provided high quality oil-based stains and sealants. So how do we choose stain and seal experts? Well, I think I could best describe that to you by using the who, what, when, where, and why method of describing stain and seal experts. First, the who of stain and seal experts is gonna be Caleb, the owner. Much like myself, he comes from a multi-generational fence company. So when he developed a stain, he developed it from the standpoint of the fence company owner, the fence company operator, and their clients. Rather than a company that just happens to make the product, he specifically makes it the product coming from that foundational knowledge of fence companies and their clients. All right, for the what? Obviously they make an oil-based stain and sealant. But what makes them a little bit different, what really stood out to us is the fact that it's a low VOC product. Now VOC standing for volatile organic compound. And without being a scientist and without getting into very technical details, it basically means it's a safer product, both for my guys to use, but also it's safer to be around. Now typically when we're staining a fence, it's around kids or pets. And so we wanna make sure when we're staining that fence that we're staining it with a product that's safer for those kids and pets to be around. The what is a low VOC, oil-based stain and sealant. All right, for the win, according to their website, they've been producing stains since 2012, which admittedly gave us pause initially. But after talking with Caleb in depth and learning that his history was similar to mine, a multi-generational fence guy, it really gave me confidence to at least try their product. Well, after going on uh, close to three seasons now, I feel confident letting you guys know that this is the product we use. We've used it on a lot of fence, it has great results. It's a product we like a lot. For the wear, Stain and Steel Experts is based in Nashville, meaning they're a USA product. And that means a lot to me. I know we've already talked about several of the reasons why we use Stain and Steel Experts, but I'll recap. One, it's a low VOC formula, meaning that without being a scientist, it's safer for kids and pets to be around. It's also safer for my guys to use. Both those reasons make me sleep a lot better at night. Also, because it's a lower VOC formula, it's also more environmentally friendly. It's better for the earth, which is also reasons that makes me sleep better at night. Additionally, they have a nationwide distribution network. So no matter where in the country we are, if we're staining a friend's house in New York or a cousin's house in California, there's a distribution network that's already set up and ready to take care of us. And if we have any problems, it's a direct customer service relationship, meaning that when you pick up the phone, you get someone typically within the first three or four rings that has in-depth knowledge about the product. I've never had a problem that I couldn't pick up the phone and talk with someone about, someone that was incredibly knowledgeable about the product. And that means a lot to me. So to recap this video, when you're deciding to stain and seal your next fence, you're gonna have two options, an oil-based or a water-based product. Now, while we prefer an oil-based product that by stain and seal experts, you'll certainly want to weigh the pros and cons of each camp and of each manufacturer of the stain and make a choice that's good for yourself. Ultimately, do yourself a favor, stain and seal your fence to promote the longevity and also preserve the beauty of the biggest investment in your backyard.